Now, today's response to coronavirus comes after the administration says that they've identified the catalyst to the increase in cases. Now, the new mitigation efforts will focus on restaurants. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forbach takes us to a local establishment tonight where staff are once again learning to adjust. Caroline? Well, Nick, Governor Wolf says people are ignoring the mask and social distancing requirements in bars and restaurants, resulting in pockets of super spreading. Effective at midnight, these establishments will have to cut their capacity from 50% to 25%. Not long after restaurants in Luzerne County were given the green light to resume indoor dining, a resurgence of COVID-19 cases caused officials to pump the brakes. And what we're seeing right now could soon be even worse than what we saw before. Wednesday, Governor Tom Wolf signed an executive order restricting indoor dining capacity at restaurants to 25 percent. Outdoor dining can carry on as usual. I mean, if it gets really bad again, you're going to have to shut it down again. That's it. You know, we have to do what we have to do. Staff at Franklin's and Wilkesbury say they were just starting to get used to the new workflow, implementing safety measures like taking a temperature at the door. All right, you're good. Enjoy good. your dinner. Separating parties with dividers at the bar and rearranging tables for social distancing. Workers admit this is a step backward. I think we're going to be going back to no one allowed to be sitting at, seated at the bar again. So I think definitely between today and tomorrow, we're going to have to all put our heads together and figure out the best way to approach it. In order to monitor capacity, restaurant staff are now taking a head count of everyone who walks through the door. And customers won't be able to come just for drinks, as restaurants can now only serve alcohol with meals at a table. It will be another tough adjustment for restaurant staff, but Jones says they're doing everything they can to avoid another shutdown. I think it's going to hurt everybody more the second time than the first time. Restaurants will be feeling the strain of these new restrictions, but bars and the men and women who rely on them for work will face a different uphill battle.